Look, I was sick, I was locked up in Bakersfield. A nigga dumb, it's my turn, that's how them haters feel. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Jay Brock. Let's clap it up, LA. I'm here with none other than DW Flame. He is Long Beach, if yes, you ask sir. him, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Artist, rapper, actor, businessman. DW Flame, how you doing today? I'm good, how you doing, bro? Man, I'm blessed, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy that you came, and, and we, we, we really about to give y'all some good game today, so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned in. Now listen, DW, you started at 12 years old, when yep. you've been rapping, mm -hmm. but you said you were at school, and you had a circle of friends rapping, right? Mm -hmm. Now what made you go into that circle and decide that I'm gonna rap too? Um, I think one of the homies pushed me. You know when, you remember how you used to, they have a circle of people dancing and yeah, 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 one of your yeah, family yeah, yeah, members, somebody yeah. pushed you out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't even know if you could dance. Yeah, yeah. But that's what happened. One of the homies pushed me out. Mm -hmm. They ain't know that I, you and know. you can really fit. In my own room. Yeah, in my, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I just did that and did my thing. Okay, now you said, you f okay, now this, this is what I'm gonna say here. You stepped into your purpose that day. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say this because you said when you after you were done, it was an energy that you felt. Mm -hmm. and you said you fell in love with that energy, mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't really understand that it's an energy. God brings an energy to you when you're stepping into your purpose. And so, um, what made you? What was actually that feeling? Because you described that feeling, that energy that you felt. Mm -hmm. It was it was that feeling of people finally listening and mm -hmm. really interested. Mm -hmm. um, me having me not necessarily having control but me actually having my time where somebody listens to okay. what i say you okay know what I'm saying? okay or what i think or my point of view okay you know 100 percent. now your point of view do you feel like nobody was listening to you up until that point um so before that up until that point i was just a another kid yeah, having okay. you know at school or yeah. at home you yeah. know what i'm saying so yeah i never never yet had my chance to let people know I had something to say. Ah, got you. So basically, you wasn't quite sure what to identify yourself as at a yeah. certain point in time. Now listen, I'm a firm believer that you have to overcome a series of obstacles before you can find your purpose. And there's a hunger that God needs you to have that you have. Mm -hmm. At this point in time, after everything you've been through, there's a hunger that you have to have in order to serve your true purpose in life. Now, at what point did you understand you have a huge purpose and that you really just got to straighten up? Um, I, I, it was a moment where I understood that and that was when I had my son. Okay, okay. I had my son and then, you know, still after that, everybody think once they have a kid, it's that magical, yeah, no. I got you, yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah, I just got lost back and uh, lost in the sauce again. Mm -hmm. And then that, that moment came to me again when I was facing life okay, okay. in jail, mm -hmm. you know, and I know, and I knew before then I had the potential to, I knew eventually I was going to be big, mm -hmm. facts, facts, yeah. but I was still thugging. Mm -hmm. But when I was in there, you know, you can be as tough as you want, but when you really want something with, with your life, mm -hmm. you're going to have that moment where you like, damn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to really straighten the fuck up mm -hmm. if I get out this time. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I saw a video Trey D posted. He was like, "Man, he fighting for his life." And you mm -hmm. just, you just like, mm -hmm. like. And you said at that point you was kind of like, "I don't even care what they're gonna do. Mm -hmm. just, 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 just give me my time and let me do what I gotta yeah, do." Yeah. So I mean, at that point, did you, did you think to yourself, "Man, if they let me out, I ain't never coming back, and I'm gonna do exactly what I need to do." Yeah, hell yeah. You think that every time you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time a nigga go to jail, a nigga mm -hmm. think that, but mm -hmm. yeah, it was, um, honestly, it wasn't until this last time in the feds, okay. you know, because I went and faced life, whoop -de -whoop -de but then after that, about a um, year later, I got caught with a um, with a, another burner, okay. and then the feds came and got me, mm -hmm. and the feds was just a different ball game, had me just... Yeah. so to myself and so secluded like yeah. from the outside world and no yard I was in a building in LA for like two years damn near and mm. niggas I never was seeing outside mm. no nothing just stuck mm. in this building mm. and, and did you ever think like damn I took just being outside for granted yeah nigga <laughs> I took walking to the refrigerator by myself Goodness. for granted you mm. feel me yeah nigga just 
I took my baby mama yelling for a granted uh, because yeah, 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 yeah. I would rather be outside. I act like I just couldn't bear with that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I, I would rather deal with that mm -hmm. any day and before I here, be yeah. up in here dealing with these police mm -hmm. yelling at us or trying to treat us certain type of ways, you feel mm -hmm. me? Or just even the tension we got amongst each other in there. Yeah. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I, I like the ladies, you feel yeah, me? Fact, fact, fact. I, I love, I love yeah. women, you feel me? So I'd rather be out here with freedom any day. <laughs> <laughs> Doing any this day. thing, yeah. yeah. All right, so let me ask you this. You share a lot of your ups and downs and mistakes, you know, with your fans on Instagram and things of that nature. What makes you so transparent compared to, you know, we see DW, we might think one thing. Mm. But when we get to really paying attention to DW, mm. we see you open, you, you open book. Mm. What makes you like that? S seeing other people act as if they don't go through certain things mm. or act like they mm -hmm. just high mighty or seeing people who just going through certain shit acting like they the only one going mm. through it. Mm. Like, you know, so that's why I love to let my fans know. Okay. Y'all looking at me like I'm just... Or, nigga, I am going through it. <laughs> yeah, facts, facts. Nigga, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you probably doing better than me. Right, like, right, right, yeah. No cap. Like, right. probably, nigga, all the way up until, nigga, a couple months ago, nigga, I was broke. Mm. Period. Like, mm. but, you know, I get my little paper here and there, mm. you know, like a regular street nigga. Yeah, yeah. However, the, the ways we get it. But, nigga, we talking about actually being cool. Mm -hmm. You feel and me? Finally being like, okay, I like, can breathe, huh? I stopped asking moms for money about like a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And that shit's stupid. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. And not being able to pay the bills or go half or, mm -hmm. nigga, nigga, I had days where I break down because I'm, I'm like, a, I'm BW, nigga. <laughs> he said, I'm that nigga. Nigga, the fuck? <laughs> I see these yeah, 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 young yeah, yeah. niggas out here, they yeah. doing it and doing it. Yeah. I'm like, uh, and, I, and, and, and niggas I consider weird, everybody praising them, mm. you know, but yeah. I, I, see, I see through certain people. Yeah. That yeah. money don't make him real. Mm. He not, y'all praising him like he real. Mm. You know, I'm not saying I want nobody to praise me, mm. but I'm like, I ain't finna. I mean, so why do you think people think that money makes somebody real? I mean, I'll tell you one thing. Being broke <laughs> don't make you a man. <laughs> Being broke, staying broke don't make you a man, that's, that's for nice. sure. That's so true. I can see why they think money makes a person real, but that's not true either. Okay, let me ask you something, Dick W. What, what makes you respect somebody? How does somebody earn DW respect? By being their self. You know what? Even the niggas I consider weird, mm -hmm. But they own their motherfucking ground, and that's just their shit. Yeah. And some people are weird, you know. <laughs> that's just them. Yeah. I don't respect somebody who's trying to be something they're not. Ah, mm -hmm. You not know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be yeah. yourself. I don't care what you do. Yeah. I don't care what you do. I don't care. I don't care if I, I don't care if that's all you do is talk high power shit all day, uh -huh. nigga. And if you don't got it, well. Talking into existence because you see that's happening. I don't care if you're gay. Okay. Nigga, if you gay, be gay. Nigga, don't come playing. I don't respect it. Right. Stop acting like you're not if you, you feel me? Yeah, if, yeah. Like, you know, mm -hmm. nigga, if you you just have to be yourself. Don't mm -hmm. come around my crowd mm -hmm. acting like you are. Yeah. We, I don't even care if you are. <laughs> real rap. You feel right? me? Don't yeah. come because yeah. you know that we be around real members. Mm -hmm. Certain time you want to act, you want to put on ten, mm -hmm. like you just and we know. Yeah, yeah. You Nigga, that out. Yeah, I'm yeah. cool as a motherfucker. I yeah. laugh. I have fun. Mm -hmm. I'm not gangster twenty four seven. I got mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I oh baby, mm, I do all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Like nigga, I'm I'm not gangster twenty four seven. Mm. So I just appreciate. Somebody being authentic in a in, in their self, mm. being comfortable with in, in their self in their skin. Mm -hmm. So y'all heard it. Don't fake with D Dub. Be you. Nah. He gonna accept you for you. Now, you said you gotta go through something for people to relate, mm -hmm. and and I felt that. And you were talking about a sense of going through something so people can earn, so you can earn somebody's respect. Right. Because see, even in the lane of what I do. What I'm learning is that I earn people's respect by them actually seeing what I'm doing, by me being prepared and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, 
the importance of transparency. You know what I'm saying? People really got to understand that. Now, how many times have you spoke out, right? Mm -hmm. And somebody was like, bro, I'm going through that too. Mm -hmm. I needed you to say that. Every day. Mm. Every day. It's people mm. that amaze me about how much I touch them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's mm -hmm. people that be like, bro, you, you helped me through it. Mm -hmm. You don't understand. Like, you... Nigga, you really helped me through it. It was times I want to give up. Mm -hmm. And that amazes me how mm -hmm. much my words touch them. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's deep, too. Because people, like, get in my DMs about this stuff. And I'll be like, wow, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. So you speak on the importance of being humble. Mm -hmm. What situation sat you down and helped you understand it's time to humble yourself? Mm -hmm. I've always been humble, mm -hmm. you know, because I came from nothing. Mm -hmm. So I ain't fit to just act like I'm better than everybody, but I have took the time to focus on myself more. So some people, mm -hmm. I still got to dumb that down sometimes, mm -hmm. being into myself, mm -hmm. because it was time where I didn't give a fuck about myself. Okay. But I'm a, I'm a humble person, and humbleness is going to take you further than cockiness any day. Okay, so, so why would you say you didn't care about yourself, though? You all you got. Yeah. Be, because I cared about my family way more. Oh, I cared okay, about okay. I cared about them way more. Okay. I I as we say I slide for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know I'm like me. I can I can die in the mist. Mm -hmm. I, but mm -hmm. that wasn't correct. That wasn't a correct way of thinking. Mm. Yeah. Because if I'm gone, then who gonna continue to take right, care of that? Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had to me going through these situations, sitting down, and me having another kid. Mm -hmm. I had to I had to humble myself. Mm. Okay, nigga. Now care about yourself first, so you can do these things for these people you care about. One hundred, one hundred. Yeah, you, you can't take care of nobody else if you're not taking care of yourself. Right. So let me ask you this: um, Do you feel like being humble is important for God's destined purpose for you? You got to be, like you said, being humble for the kids, being humble for the fam, the city, the whole single boys, everybody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How it how how high on a totem pole would you place being humble from one to ten? At the top. Mm. At the top, I'll place it as a ten. Mm -hmm. Because it's it you not being humble is only gonna put you in a certain group of people. Ah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Even the people of the most high, mm -hmm. cockiest people, they love a humble person. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Even though that's not them, they mm -hmm. still love a, hum a humble person. Right. People who ain't got nothing mm -hmm. love. It's nothing bad to be said about you. Mm -hmm. And if it is, that mean that, you know, somebody just mad that you're so humble. Mm, that mm. you can blend with every group and every, you can do shit they can't do. Yeah, facts. You feel facts. me? So humbleness is going to take you the furthest. Mm. That person will win at the end. Facts. True, true. So look, you speak about, you speak on, you say, I'm starving. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry, right? Mm -hmm. And as I said, it takes a certain type of appetite to be able to even reach the certain amount of success that you want to reach. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you, now, now this, the things that you go through, does that make you more hungry? Like every, all the bull crap you face, all the adversity, does that make you more hungry Hell yeah. to get where you want to get? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, I'm trying to tell you, nigga, I'm t them days mm -hmm. where my mom may have it, them days she was crying because she couldn't do for us. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, just me sleeping in the car with the mm -hmm. homies, mm -hmm. me being, me not having, me me watching other niggas have it. I've never been envious. Yeah, we gonna get into that. But I'm yeah. gonna, I, I, I'm gonna get that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you know, so hell yeah, them hard times, them hard times built the nigga up like this. Mm -hmm. would, would you say that you were ever lost as to what you were going to do with your life? Yeah. You feel me? Before, I, I mean, because I guess you stepped into the rapping. But were you ever like on and off and kind of like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I'm kind of lost right now. Mm. Was that was it ever a point? Um, yes, I've been lost. I always knew I was gonna rap though. Mm. But I've been lost in the midst of it. Like uh, sometimes, fuck that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm get it the way I get it. Mm. And I didn't know at a time, we was talking about that. Mm. I, I wasn't sure if that shit was gonna work out. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so. I was trying to figure out a whole bunch of shit. I went and played basketball for a quick second. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm getting better. That's cool. I'm, I could do this. Why you play football? I did play football. I'm just saying, you a big, come on, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you bro. Nah, I, played, I wasn't always big, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You know okay, what okay. I'm saying? I got big after high school. That's okay. fucked up. <laughs> you feel <laughs> me? <laughs> All right, now, now somebody will always have something to say. Mm -hmm. You got to deal with criticism from family, friends. 
How do you keep your head up through all the? Man? How do you keep your head up? By knowing somebody always gonna have something to say. <laughs> no cap. I know somebody all. No matter what, what a nigga do, somebody always gonna have something to say. But I know that I know I'm a little different from them because I'm always the one they saying something about. You know what I'm Facts. saying? Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now the way you rap, very passionate. Your energy's high. It's a lot of aggression and pain, like a whole lot of aggression and pain. Mm. And and Trady said that was one of the things that actually you know made him want to work with you. Mm. So let me ask you this: Do you feel that you took the same energy that you put into the streets and you put it into the booth? Mm. And do you feel like it's therapeutic for you in that way? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. and because it was time where I was Superman. I took so big losses and I. I, I put a lot of aggression and pain. I turned it up in the streets. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then when the streets, set, when I got set down from doing that, mm -hmm. I turned it up in the booth because I, I watched certain people surpass me mm -hmm. and certain people. So I had to I had to put all that shit into this or else I would have really fucked it up bad. Mm -hmm. You feel mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. and, so, and so, you know, you, I, I think about this because like, I feel like if you know people was basically would take that same energy into the streets like you said but they actually found something productive to do right a lot of people are lost and don't know what i could possibly do but make this a good thing mm -hmm. what's your advice to somebody out there that might be looking because somebody gonna be watching and they looking for it mm -hmm. what's your advice to somebody that got that same energy and aggression but they don't know what to do um people like that always think something ain't working for them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I tried to do this. Mm -hmm. I tried, mm -hmm. you know. So now they doing whatever they doing. Mm -hmm. That's my advice to you is respectfully. Mm -hmm. You're weak for that. Ooh, we. That's you weak. broke it down. You said that's it. <laughs> you know, that's, that's it, for yeah. that's for the people who got who has opportunity mm -hmm. or has a talent and be like, but it just ain't working or I need what's the name ain't help me or. Mm -hmm. That's weak as fuck. Mm -hmm. You gotta push for. Sometimes you gotta make people believe in you. Ah. You like why nah, they don't nah, believe? Not sometimes, all the time. Yeah. You <laughs> like why the they don't believe? Yeah, yeah. Why I got this talent? Why mm -hmm. they don't? Nigga, you gotta put it out. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta push and force them to fuck with you. It forces them to fuck with mm -hmm. you because they like okay, you serious? Don't mm -hmm. nobody wanna fuck with no bullshit. Mm -hmm. So you being mad. Or feeling like shit ain't working for you Facts. is weak. Mm. That's the last thing you can do. On everything I love, you cannot blame nobody else for your situation but you if you want to fix it. Mm -hmm. Now, throughout throughout your growth and success, um, you spoke on like nobody calls me to check on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nobody called me to check on my kids, but y'all call me on the bull crap. Mm -hmm. You feel me? How does that actually make you feel? And how have you learned to separate yourself from knowing, okay, I do this with y'all, I'm going to blow it. But y'all gonna have to respect my, you know what I'm saying, what I'm going through right now, so mm. I don't mess this up. Mm. How, did, how did you learn to separate yourself, and how hard was that for you? Mm. Um, it was, it was kind of hard because of, I used to like being called yes, for yes. the bullshit. Okay. You okay. see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the homies used to call me, or my sisters used to call me for bullshit, I'm coming. Mm -hmm because that's what we was about. Mm -hmm. But once I start noticing that I have something really going for myself, mm -hmm. I start noticing, why the fuck is y'all calling me? <laughs> right. If y'all really right. care about me, mm -hmm. you're not gonna keep putting me in those situations because mm -hmm. out of every situation I put myself in or let somebody put me in, mm -hmm. I lost. Mm -hmm. I and they that. was just talking about it. Remember mm -hmm. DWK yeah, yeah, yeah. and Woofy Woof Digger, I'm in jail. Mm -hmm. And that's that thing where they say you got to be selfish. Yeah. You got to be selfish. And it's not it's not bad if you're being selfish because you got to take care of yourself. Now, um, you, said you, knew, you, you said you knew you were bigger than being in the streets. Mm -hmm. Okay. How were you so certain? And when did you start to feel like I'm bigger than this? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing all this. I'm way bigger than this. Nigga, them bullshit long nights we up with the homies and it's three in the morning and we just sitting there. <laughs> ain't doing nothing. Huh? Ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Look, we get high, we get mm -hmm. faded. Nigga, my, my house is literally five blocks down. I'm just still sitting here with the homies. Mm -hmm. I'm not going home. I'm just, I'm like, hold on, but I'm not happy at home either. Mm. Mm. He said, I'm not happy at home. Yeah, and it's not because of anything at home. Mm. 
It's because it is. Ah, and you know, when you said you know you're bigger than the streets, a lot of people aren't happy because they're not acting on their purpose. Mm -hmm. They refuse to for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. They continue to bullcrap. So at this point in time in your life, would you say this is the most happiest that you've ever been? Yeah, I ain't even, I ain't, you want to know something? I've been working and doing so much shit, I never even thought to think about it. Mm. But yeah. Yeah. We're going to clap it up. Yeah. Big Dub is happy in his life right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to clap it up to that. So now the most unfortunate thing about showing love is that you may not always get it back. Now we know flame, F love, and my enemies. Mm. Let me ask you this. Is the F in response to the hurt or is mm. the F in response to protecting your own feelings? Um, Both. Okay. Both. Mm -hmm. Um, But that's not, the, if you really, in reality, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm filled with love. You feel me? Okay. I'm filled with love. I, that's all I give out to everybody around mm -hmm. me. You mm -hmm. feel me? Mm -hmm. But I know that it's limited, and I know that certain people will take, take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like, it's, it's like, it's like, fuck the love, the fake love y'all trying to give to me. Oh, 100%. You see 100%, what? You feel me? Yeah. Fuck all that. Mm. Fuck all that. I love you and all that. Yeah. I don't. Okay. So let me ask you this. How much of that fake love do you see now? What? <laughs> I mean, just break it. Let, let me. I mean, you know, let us let us feel it, cause you know that fake love. Come on, he popping now. Mm -hmm. I wasn't with you when you was, you know, what I'm saying, sleeping in the cars. Mm -hmm. I wasn't with you when you was struggling at home with mm -hmm. moms. But yeah. now I got all the love for you in the world. I tell you what, that's it's not even from the new love that I'm getting from new humans that I'm allowing in my life. Mm -hmm. It's from the motherfuckers that have been around. 100. Or yeah. or ain't never did nothing, mm -hmm. but when they see me, we chill for a little bit. They randomly say, "I love you," mm -hmm. Ooh, and they about to. I'm like, "Nigga, how?" Mm. <laughs> Nigga said, "How?" At first, I said it back too. <laughs> yeah. I used to be like, "Oh yeah, I love you." I'm like, mm. "Nigga, don't love you. I don't love you. I know for sure you don't love me, mm -hmm. but you trying to plant that seed mm -hmm. to make sure that that you you grow on me now, or mm -hmm. that you come in with me now." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't even got no room for you. Yeah, and you know what? That makes a lot of sense because, see, I made a video. Like, when you when you get, when you get on your high horse, like Nip said, I'm on my high horse now. I built this, right? Mm -hmm. When you get on your high horse, everybody want to flock to you now, mm -hmm. right? But I, I was saying that you got to make sure that you pay attention because, see, it's those people that'll flock to you because they want what you got. Mm -hmm. But if something go wrong, they're going to leave you out to the sharks. Yeah. They're going to leave you out to the sharks, and they're going to leave you there. Facts. They ain't going to look back. They ain't going to think about you, none of that. So... D-Dub say, I am Long Beach. Mm -hmm. Don't ever get it twisted. I am Correct. Long Beach. Correct. What makes you so confident in that? Correct. Because I'm thoroughbred. I'm, ain't nobody around Long Beach mm -hmm. or grew up in Long Beach mm -hmm. hasn't known me to be in Long Beach okay. at all times doing all the shit that everybody claimed to be doing. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm I really I'm really cut. I'm really what you would consider a Long Beach nigga. Okay. 100%. Any, any party, any park, any anything that um, went on in Long Beach, mm -hmm. I've been a part of. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm definitely the kind of person that every, you know that the city would like to represent. Okay. Because we wouldn't like no we wouldn't like no 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 weird nigga representing Long Beach. We'd be like, man, who is he? Okay. Yeah. Where he come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When they see me, they like, damn, mm -mm. that nigga <laughs> DW really, you yeah, know. Yeah, 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 nigga, yeah. they see me in bad spots, fucked up. Mm -hmm. You feel me? They see me at the store. Mm -hmm. Nigga, they see me at the parties. Mm -hmm. They see me, you know, really thugging. Mm -hmm. It's just, I I am Long Beach. I am a next generation mm -hmm. uh, Long Beach dude, you okay. know, real stand up dude. Okay. And I'm, like, I'm the governor. <laughs> I'm the governor. Be the governor. Y'all ain't had to vote for that one. <laughs> so now with, with, with success comes a lot of hate, jealousy, people switching up on you, you know, and a lot of people assume that your life is just all smooth now because you got fame, mm -hmm. you got, got, got money in your pocket, when in all actuality, this can drive you crazy, especially if you're not mentally strong, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So um, how do you keep yourself in line and stay sane and not lose it? Mm -hmm. By splitting this time up. Mm -hmm. Doing things that I'm supposed to do makes me stay sane. Mm -hmm. When I when I start fucking up, moving too fast, it mm -hmm. makes me feel like I'm going back down there. Yeah. You know, even though I'm working, I'm working, working, working. Mm -hmm. But if I'm taking time away from my kids, mm -hmm. or 
I'm, you know, now my baby mama going at a thousand. Mm -hmm. You know, now, now I ain't seen my mama in a while. Now I'm just, I'm now I'm back playing with guns a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All that shit feel like okay. Once now I'm back low key tripping on niggas. When I see niggas, we at the club. I'm I'm on shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm turning I'm turning back to cousin. One moment like that, mm -hmm. you can send this whole shit in 360. Mm -hmm. Spin it all up upside down. I'm back in jail. <laughs> He's in a viral moment, huh? One viral moment. I'm <laughs> back in jail. Go on the phone, cuz. Come on, back to. You get back to your senses in there. Mm. <laughs> Nigga yeah. turn back to his regular self. Like, damn. Mm -hmm. Call my lawyer. Do this. Right, do. Right, right. I'm, I'm wasting time. Mm -hmm. All that shit. Me picturing that makes me want to do right. Mm. You feel makes me? Makes me want to move right. Make me want to move right. Make me want to even stay away from them. Mm -hmm. Places mm -hmm. to put me in them situations because I'm still him. Now, let me ask you something. It's, okay, now is there anybody that's, that that you may have caught wind? Oh man, that nigga DW switched up. He he acting what? different now. How do you deal with that though? Mentally, like, mentally. I laugh because mm -hmm. nigga how? <laughs> mm, I laugh because nigga I'm worse than you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nigga, I deserve to switch up if that's what they call it. Mm -hmm. I deserve to switch up. Let me ask you this, bro. Where does where does so much where does your pain and aggression come from, though? Um, I would say from from my family's pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the losses we took. Mm -hmm. The the but the way I seen it, the way I felt it is different because mm -hmm. it was so close to me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I I carried three caskets back to back not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Before that, I, my mom already lost two kids. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Before, my dad, my dad, and all type of issues we didn't been through, and just, just, and just the struggle, uh -huh. the struggle. Me being the less fortunate one uh -huh. out of all my friends, a lot of time, uh -huh. except for the ones that was with me that was less fortunate with me. Uh -huh. But me watching you get everything, and I just couldn't, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. And it ain't that my mom don't take care of us; she uh -huh. does that, uh -huh. but she she has no more to give. So I wasn't taught to hustle. I didn't. I didn't know. You know, I didn't have a family who went and got jobs and did all that. Nigga, we in Section Eight. We, my mom getting it however she get it. Mm. So I was always less fortunate. Mm. And, you that, and that built up that anger. What? Built Just up that anger yeah, that built up that anger, but built up that starvation. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, facts. Built up that that, that appetite. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like God put us in a place to where. We have to face a certain amount of obstacles and overcome a whole lot of things yeah. before we can have that appetite to be mm -hmm. all you want to be. You know what I'm saying? So um, you started dropping the videos, the the, 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 the videos of encouragement. Um, now, when you first did that, I, I think the first video, you know, it's like you fresh out the gym and you're like, mm -hmm. look, I just want to tell y'all, just do what you believe in. What hit you in your mind and said, let me do this for my people? Actually, it's just something that hit me in my mind. You that should be acted on it. like this. I'll be like, turn the camera on. Mm. And I and I don't practice the words or mm -hmm. no, nothing. That mm -hmm. just be in my mind. Mm -hmm. And I just want to, the first time I did it, I didn't know that they was going to react. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know they was going to, I actually wanted to let niggas know. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I seen I had a couple eyes on me. Mm -hmm. Like, let me let niggas know. Like, nigga, what I'm really going through, but I'm, I'm really still gonna push through this yeah. i'm pushing through this that's why y'all see me still laughing right like nigga, and at them times i probably was fucked up mm. that'd mm. be the cold part though you yeah. gotta you, you gotta stay strong for the people so i'm gonna call i'm gonna call this video fired up you mm. know what i'm saying you look like you just got through working out or something and in this video you say i'm tired of people eating in front of me i'm tired of not having it i'm tired of wanting it like do these moments, how do you use these moments to fuel your drive instead of hating on those who got what you think that you want? Because I know they, it's certain people that worked harder than me to get there. Mm. So they got to be strong or something. Mm -hmm. I, I, I hate feeling weak. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But now I'm starting to see as I push, I try, I'm trying the right way and I never, I never stop. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to see where people weak at. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, now let me keep digging. Mm -hmm. And the more I dig, the closer I keep. It's little things that keep dropping for me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm and I'm I'm scared of falling back. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because I'm working so hard to get where I'm at. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah, yeah. So I I will not lose. Yeah, bro, talk, bro. You saw me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, I get that. You, I will you not can't lose. lose. Yeah, you can't lose if you keep fighting. Yeah. Now, um, you say as I'm rising, they still trying to tell they still trying to tear me down. And then you say, I'm a you, you say, I'm the king of uh, of it's always something. Mm. I see people don't really understand that it's always something. Mm -hmm. And back to what you said. You say that those people are weak who always be like, oh, I tried this, I tried that, it never worked. Because it's always something. It's always now, something. Let, me, now, let me say this. When you see that, okay, I'm, I'm working hard, I'm doing everything I got to do, and then boom, there's an inconvenience. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's that obstacle. It's like, why? Why is it happening right now? Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that situation and stay mentally strong and just, all right, I'm going to push through. I'm going to make it happen. I don't even care no more. You don't, you don't care no more. <laughs> it's always something. No, fuck, <laughs> fuck it. Like shit that other people will take hella serious, mm. I don't. Mm. You know what I'm, because I know tomorrow's going to be tomorrow, because uh. I'm not going to be mad tomorrow. Yeah. And I know we have to figure this out now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not finna be there just dwelling on that, like, uh, like, you know, I'm, something got to get figured out for that. We got to keep going. Facts. So would you say that that, so would you, would you say that, uh, that's the most important thing about learning how not to take things personal. Because mm -hmm. if you don't care no more, you kind of, okay, I can't take it personal. Did you did you go from a point of taking things personal to being like, okay, I can't take it personal? No, I've, I went from a point of <clears throat> not caring because mm -hmm. I've never been the type of person that'd be like, you know, just, oh, it, it was to a point where mm -hmm. certain people in my life thought, I just don't give a fuck about shit. Mm -hmm. But I did, but I just ain't know you know how to handle shit, but I, now I know that certain shit has to get, yeah. it got to get handled. Mm -hmm. So we got to think about how to fix it, mm -hmm. not why it's broke. Mm. You feel me? Mm. Okay. Okay. Now see, the road to the, the, the road to the top ain't easy, is it? Mm. It ain't no, easy. No, huh? hell no. It ain't easy at all. No. Now, um, at what point did you realize that all the BS that you faced with only made you stronger? Um, when when people start showing me mm. you know once people start appreciating my struggle mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and i'm like, like all right like yeah yeah you know um they respect that you know what i'm saying they don't we don't me too i'm one of them mm -hmm. i don't respect nobody who trying to tell me something about Shit they ain't never been ah, through. Ah, okay. They're that bad advice. Yeah. You ain't even tried. And it ain't even that. It's yeah. not like say say a rich person mm -hmm. is trying to tell me about how we move in the hood. Don't tell me about that. Mm -hmm. Tell me about how to get rich. Mm -hmm. I respect that. Mm -hmm. You know? But if you trying to tell me about some hood shit, you got me fucked up. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So but if you is if you are OG in the hood or some shit like that and you telling me about shit you went through and how not to go through it, mm. I can respect that. Mm. So me being a regular person at the end of the day, I can relate to all people. I'm not just no gang member. I'm not simple like right, that. Right. I'm very complex. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't been in places where I just had to be my regular self, where I had to be Demiris. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, so I can relate to everybody struggle-wise right now, but I can relate to everybody who's hungry too mm -hmm. in life, you know, who wants to be something, mm -hmm. who always wanted to be something, I can relate to them. Mm, I feel that. Now, you had a video where you said, I had to come back and get my mind right. Like I was I was thugging with the homies and, and you know, you, you were doing what you were doing, but you said you had to get yourself back focused. Now, you said I'm in championship mode now. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm coming to win it all. So um, you said, you, and then you said I, I, I was starving until I got what I wanted, and I did not know what to. I didn't know how to move with it. Mm -hmm. So, how do you feel like you should have been moving? You know what I'm saying? Or what? Why were you lost as to how to move with what you? You know what I'm saying? That game. Cause when you ain't, when you never had nothing, mm -hmm. you're not going. If you don't got guidance and the right people around you. <clears throat> You're not gonna excuse me. <clears throat> You're not gonna know what to do. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You just gonna have fun. Mm -hmm. It's gonna bring you back to the same place again. Facts, facts, facts. That's the truth. That's a fact right there. So, um, 
so many people can reach a certain amount of success and just completely get lost. Now, how do you learn how to check yourself? Because when you get you get lost, you lose the habit, mm -hmm. the mindset kind of changes. How hard is it to how hard has it been to check yourself and get yourself back to work? You know what I'm saying? Um, I, it used to be so hard for me to check myself and be like, come on, you need to do this, you need to do that, until I noticed I would be a chunk ahead of mm. the, the competition or anybody when I do put mm -hmm. in extra work. Mm -hmm. So hard is becoming <clears throat> my regular. Mm -hmm. I like hard. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Hard is hard is going to become my easy, but it's never going to be easy. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I love doing the hard work because a lot of niggas don't. Mm, facts. That's and why everybody can't make it to the top. I like doing the hard work. You niggas don't like doing the hard work, mm -hmm. but I do. But, and there's the separation again. Okay, so let me ask you this. What's DW in championship mode? DW in championship mode what is... What that is? Break it down to us. Me right now. That's me putting in extra work. Mm -hmm. That's me doing the shit that they think they can't. Mm -hmm. that's, that's me... That's me building my team around me to make sure I'm comfortable with getting with kicking down them doors. Mm. That's me taking care of my family. Mm. That's me smiling. That's me putting in hard work. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm not ready to celebrate until it's time to celebrate. I feel that. So many people want to celebrate before they really, really, really put in that work. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you're such a leader. Who's in your circle? If need be, like if DW got to get corrected, somebody got to tell DW, you know, check this out, chill out. Who is that that you can call on and they're going to get you right? My big bro, my big bro, E. Will. Okay. Shout out E. Will. Keep DW on this, keep DW on the right path. DW going to blow. Now, Long Beach is such a legendary city. Snoop Daz, Goldie Low, Trey D, OT, Warren G. Uh, forgive me if I forget anybody. Um, how do you feel? being able to be in so close with who's with these legends um it's you want to know it feels it feels like that's how it's supposed to be mm. you know mm -hmm. um they they definitely they definitely legends to me mm -hmm. but they don't feel no different to me than anybody else it, it, it yeah. Fe yeah, yeah it yeah. feels like these is motherfuckers that I'm supposed to know, mm -hmm. and I'm somebody they supposed to know. Mm -hmm. Now, as you as you grow in this rap game, um, is it a goal of yours to make sure that you represent your OGs the the best way you possibly can? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's, they gonna get questioned one day uh, about who you are, mm -hmm. and they gonna keep it G. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They gonna be like, oh, he cool or whatever. Or, I really don't fuck with the young nigga, but yeah. he's smooth or, yeah. you know, because they still don't just smut no nigga. I feel that. Now, um, Flame Fridays, you know, was in our face before the album Fifth. You know what I'm saying? You drop a video, you fresh out. DW look like he ready to cause chaos in every studio, every mic he get into. Um, what made you start Flame Fridays? As a matter, matter of fact, did you initially say, okay, I'm gonna call this Flame Fridays, or was you mm. just like, I'm gonna just throw this freestyle out here? Um, my my big brother, he will again, he okay. used to be like, nigga, <clears throat> nigga, get your hustle up, do something, whoop de whoop. He like, cause they need to hear you. Mm. He like, nigga, yo, if you can't get studio, nigga, mm. fuck it, record a video. Mm. You know, mm. let them niggas hear you. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna start freestyling on Friday or something. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, I'm just randomly one day, I'm like, nigga, I'm gonna do something called Flame Friday. Mm -hmm. It just hits you out of the blue. Yep. Okay. And I never, I never acted on it though. I kept on saying what I'm gonna do, mm -hmm. kept on, and then I went to jail. Okay. Why and do you think you never acted on it though? Because I was bullshit. Okay. Okay. Well, at least you were able to admit that to yourself. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying? Hell yeah. So, um, from Go, that went crazy. You, everybody tapped in. I mean, you got it. You got D Jack tapped in, Shaq tapped in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, did you feel like after getting that feedback, not that you was looking for, but like after getting them reaching out to you, you felt like, yeah, I gotta keep going. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, Shaq hit a nigga. Mm, Shaq. I, I mean, that's Shaq though. Yeah. Mega star. <laughs> I'm like, and this is, you know, this mm -hmm. is somebody we just grew up off right, of, right, for real. Right, right. So for him to even see my shit mm -hmm. and know that I'm in the world. Okay. 
You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. For a lot of motherfuckers to know that I'm in the world, okay. let me know something. Mm -hmm. Because I was still in the hood. Mm -hmm. So, who knows? I could be as big as them or even bigger. Yeah, facts. You got a dream big. Um, now, you hot, okay? And it's known all over the place, but you still got to be faced with people's opinions. Mm -hmm. um, if How do you feel if somebody is to say, well, this really ain't it? for mm. this right now how mm. do you feel about that even though you know you're doing your thing mm. but still every some people not gonna fool you some people are mm -hmm. and it's not for everybody oh, yeah. how do you how, how do you usually take that i'm gonna show these niggas 100 mm. <laughs> you know i'll be like <laughs> i'll be like yeah all right mm -hmm. you know because i didn't have certain people like oh he, he cool but it's just certain shit that that wooty got uh -huh. or you feel me i've never been told i don't have it okay but they'll make it seem like I don't have the right catalog yet. Okay. Or I haven't shown my versatility yet. Mm -hmm. So, and I took that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you feel me? Mm -hmm. You don't even know, nigga, what I got in me. I ain't even, you ain't even, you I ain't even put, level. I ain't even started, yeah. you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, I just, I always took it as, they gonna see. Because mm -hmm. for sure they gonna see. Mm -hmm. And if a nigga don't pick up on me now, he missing out. Was, was there ever a point that maybe that maybe discouraged you? Because some of you, a lot of people can get discouraged by that, especially if it's coming from a person of value. You know what I'm saying? The only time I've been discouraged is when I've doubted myself a little bit. Okay. When I thought I couldn't do certain shit. Okay. When I thought I couldn't make a hook in a song the right, the, the way that a certain person is doing it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, you need a hit, a hit. I'm like okay for a quick second i i thought i couldn't because i wasn't even in the studio mm. i wasn't even putting in no work i wasn't even playing with my voice mm. i didn't even test my abilities mm -hmm. you know but i always knew i i'm always sure of myself mm. but just being away from it so long mm. can make you doubt yourself mm -hmm. you feel me that's like you play basketball but you ain't played for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then you come out there with them new young niggas. Mm -hmm. And they balling. And, and they balling, but <laughs> you still got it, but mm -hmm. you got to practice every day. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So that's all it is. This shit is dribbling the ball to me, and I'm dribbling every day. Right. You feel me? Right. And that shit is like that. Mm -hmm. That's I, It's glued to my hand right now. Yeah. You feel me? So, but if you if I let up out that studio and then stop rapping and doing them flames, all that shit is keeping me it's making me do shit. Keeping your blood flowing. It's even making me do new shit. Yeah. Like, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I know exactly what to do in my lane. Are you surprised at the growth and comfort that you have now compared to when you first stepped into the studio? Because mm -hmm. like you said, I didn't even know how to play with my voice. Mm -hmm. When you look at how far you came, how surprised are you at your own ability? Um, it's su I'm, surpri I'm surprised that I'm, that it's becoming comfortable. Mm. Okay. I'm surprised that it's becoming me me taking me trying shit and me feeling comfortable without somebody I don't I don't think I no longer think if they think it's hard. Mm. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I, get I that. know yeah, who yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah, I'm solidified. I'm yeah. DW. Yeah. 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 This is my style. Uh, you know what I'm I saying? I feel that. He said, I don't <laughs> That's a good one. That's that's big confidence right there. Now, um you dropped the album fifth forever i'm flame the hot boys and i'm flaming the hot boys mm -hmm. I'm, okay now for those who don't know you said you were on the run while you was putting that thing what type of grind was that i mm -hmm. mean you on the run and you still putting the album together I mean, yeah goodness. that shit was crazy that shit was stressful <laughs> that stressful. shit was stressful but what made you i mean but what kept you determined to do it even though you you know what i'm saying in that situation because i knew it was interesting mm. i knew it was something i knew I knew what I was going through mm -hmm. was, I know there's other people that went through it, mm -hmm. but you ain't going through it how I'm going through it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And putting out music, I'm, I'm, I want people to understand mm -hmm. what me and my squad and me and my, I represent us, mm -hmm. what we going through for real. Yeah. We doing that shit for real. Mm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. All that shit you talking about, we doing it for real yeah. and we'll do it again. Mm. Like double back on it. Yeah, huh? if you <laughs> like if you play, <laughs> yeah. we'll do it again. Okay, now we're gonna get into this bar for bar segment. If y'all don't know, then y'all must be living under a rock. You know what I'm saying? DW come with them bars now. Um, here you go. 
Remember Tuesdays, I couldn't afford a dollar three piece. Tipping up the bottle like on God, I need a G. Mm -hmm. huh? Then, but now, I found my purpose. I'm an angel dog, believe me. Had to go and find a way for all these savages I'm leading. Right. Now, with all that, it's a ton of weight on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not only thinking about yourself, you're thinking about your people. Mm -hmm. Now, how much do you love what you do, even though it's a lot of weight on your shoulders? Mm -hmm. Um... I've, I've understood everybody not in this position. Mm. Everybody's not even built to carry that weight. Mm. And I even have niggas that I hang out with who I feel equal to, mm. but they act like they can't do certain shit. Mm. And I'm like, nigga, we do the same thing. Like, nigga, we come from the, how you can't do this or do that? Like, cause I'm trying to, they like, nigga, I'm not you. But that's the thing, you've been conditioned for it. I conditioned myself. Exactly. You've been conditioned for it, and a lot of people can't relate because they ain't been through what you've been through. Right. So you right. know what I'm saying? That's adding fuel to their fire. You have to accept that too. You, it's certain people who it's certain people who was actually built to carry that weight and dropped it. Mm. Because because their mind wasn't strong enough. Max, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because they let certain shit break them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm ready to carry. I, I'm built to carry. I know that. Mm -hmm. So I might have a weak time, mm -hmm. once every six months. Mm -hmm. You know. But what was that? What was that that you would say was you? You was at your breaking point. Like I could just drop it off now and nigga, go back. At a, nigga, I was when I was in jail and the and the whole probably, I just was over everything. Nigga, I was in a whole different. I was in the weakest mind state ever, nigga. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's that's that's even a point that I would never want to go through. It. I, nobody deserved that, mm -hmm. you feel me? Mm -hmm. And that's just something I, I never even speak about, mm -hmm. how broken I was, you mm -hmm. feel me? Mm -hmm. But I was able to put it back together. Mm -hmm. And that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, no, mm -hmm. and it made, it made me, it made me two times, it, it, excuse me, it made me three times. Um, Tougher. When I came back out, I kind of, after a while, I never wanted to go back to no shit like that. Mm -hmm. But I know I could. Mm -hmm. I know I could go through it again, mm -hmm. and I uh, troop it out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Condition. Yeah, yeah. Condition. So it's just certain shit you gotta, you gotta do. Okay. Okay. Now you said I relate to the pain. I was buried in stress. I had so much to gain, but my life was a mess. Look, I done tried everything from the cane to the meth. You can't escape through no drugs. You, you so, when you sober, you best. Right. Now, so many people, um, to each his own, so many people feel like they gotta go to the drugs. I gotta mm -hmm. go to the drinking. I gotta mm -hmm. do all this stuff. When did you realize that for you, mm -hmm. okay, these drugs ain't working. Mm -hmm. These drinking ain't working. Mm -hmm. When did you realize that? And, and you, you decided that I'm gonna go away from that method mm. and I'm gonna do something else. When all we was doing was drugs and and drinking and and it was taking away, I was breaking my health down literally. Mm -hmm. Then I was taken away from my family. Mm -hmm. Then I was doing dumb shit, mm -hmm. getting caught in getting caught in stupid ass shit with people that I shouldn't be doing shit with. How do I even end up here? Mm. Mm, that's a, ooh, that's a, that's not a good place. How I even end up when here? When I'm hanging around with, I look over like, what am I doing with you? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Who, I never hang out with you. Mm -hmm. I'm in certain, I'm in a, I'm in an abandoned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we in an abandoned house. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be in my own shit. If I want to do drugs or drink or I'm supposed to be comfortable wherever the fuck I'm at, mm. this shit is making a nigga lose. Mm. I'm coming, I'm looking a certain way. Mm -hmm. I started off with these clothes fresh today. Mm. I'm in the same clothes tomorrow, mm -hmm. but they look like they've been on for two weeks. Mm. You mm, 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 mm. Let me ask you this. What, have you seen some people that you've been like, man, that, that is an uncomfortable place. Mm -hmm. Like, I hate that, that you're still there and you ain't doing nothing to change. Mm -hmm. How do you feel when you see that type of stuff? And, and, and have you made it a duty to make sure you don't surround yourself mm -hmm. around those people who aren't? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do something and mm -hmm. just stuck in the same place. Mm -hmm. um, for the most part, I only cut it. I cut it off, actually. I used to hang out with everybody. Mm -hmm. Now I cut it off to only my squad. Uh, okay. You feel me? Mm -hmm. 
and um, most of them have upgraded their self in certain ways. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, some are always gonna be they self, but I accept niggas for them. Okay. But this ain't this is me. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, um, what's the question here? <laughs> How do you separate <laughs> yourself from all the non-productiveness? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, I know, I know now. Yeah, I know yeah. that's the some of them. I'm like, oh, what are you still? Do? I, yeah, I yeah. get on their ass when I see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? What are you still doing? Yeah. You no, know, and or some of them make me realize I'm still learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can learn from anybody. Mm -hmm. You can learn from a bum. Mm -hmm. You can learn from a smart person, a kid, or whatever. I learned to not be like that, kid. Right. And I'm glad because somebody got to do it. Yeah. True. Somebody got to be like that, yeah. and that's you and not me. Mm -hmm. They got to carry the weight. Now, you said, God forgive me. He know I'm a sinner. But without my flaws, I couldn't be a winner. Mm -hmm. So many people try to portray that I'm flawless. Like you said, mm -hmm. people are trying to act perfect and mm -hmm. everything like that. Um, now, when did you realize that, okay, I got to be flawed to be a winner? Mm -hmm. When did you realize that? When I, when I realized, and, and them niggas that we look up to ain't perfect. Mm -hmm. Or... Like, nigga, this is when I was ready to embrace everything that I've been going through. Mm -hmm. I embrace it. This mm -hmm. is me. Mm -hmm. And once I seen it, everybody, people accept that for me. Mm -hmm. You know, they accept that. And they accept that I took it and kept pushing. Mm -hmm. Because they stuck at a simple spot. Oh, my. Um, this is not to belittle the situation or how much pain you can have from this. Mm -hmm. But, oh, my. I didn't grow up with no parents, okay. so so they automatically fucked up their whole life, mm -hmm. or I just lost a whoopy whoop, so they just fucked up, or my job gone, or just shit like that can never break me. Mm -hmm. I I understand now all that losing is a part of life, mm -hmm. but it's uh, but well taking losses yeah. is a part of life. Part of the process. You don't have to lose, though. Mm -hmm. You don't have to lose that what we call life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And nobody said that it's gonna be easy. Right. You feel me? So yeah, that's that's when I knew. Okay, now you said it's crazy because we used to laugh at kids for being nerds, but we glorify the ones that's caged up in birds, mm -hmm. caged up like birds. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, where do you um, do you? Would you advise, you know what I'm saying, the kids, stop laughing at the nerds, bro. Mm. Actually get with them. Has, has, has somebody ever told you that? You was like, nah, I ain't gonna do that. Let me tell you, the, that's the dumbest shit you could do. <laughs> is laugh at the smart kids. <laughs> yeah, 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 facts, facts, facts. That's facts, a facts. no yeah, cap. Yeah, yeah. Because you got on new J's. Right. And you got on little whatever, or you with a certain crowd and they, mm -hmm. and you laughing at a kid for being smart. Right, yeah. What type of shit is that? <laughs> like, these are the kids that's more, more than likely going to prosper in life. Mm -hmm. These cool crowd kids is the ones that's still going to be stuck, end up doing the bullshit that niggas is doing. Wasting a whole lot of time. Yeah, I'm, I I actually thought about that years later. I'm like, how the fuck? Yeah, why was I doing that? Huh? Man, <laughs> we in class. I need they help. Yeah, right. I need help, period. Right. They doing they shit. Right. That's right. easy to them. Mm -hmm. And if I had the chance to go back in school, mm -hmm. I ain't never been a dummy. Mm -hmm. All I had to do was pay attention. That's it. Pay attention. I ain't had to be no nerd, mm -hmm. but I would love to be smart. Gotcha. I would gotcha. I, I love to be smart. Mm -hmm. Being able to answer questions and mm -hmm. being able to know shit. Mm -hmm. Why would you want to be dumb and fly mm -hmm. and cool? Mm -hmm. You feel me? You're right. Worth nothing. Worth I'd nothing. rather be smart, yeah. cool, and fly. Right. Now, um, when y'all shot the the, uh, the video of Watts Homie Quan um, in in the in the jail, you know y'all was playing like y'all were in jail, and you spoke. What put on your heart to speak at that setting? You know what I'm saying? Y'all was all up in there. What's, what put that on your heart in that setting to say, look, don't don't try to be like this. You mm. feel me? Like we really like this, and we don't even want to be up in this. Mm. What put that on your heart at that moment to say that? That was just another moment. Yeah. <laughs> that was just another moment. Like literally, I told the cameraman, hold on, get away right there. Hey, y'all just post up. Mm -hmm. And turned on. They didn't know I was gonna say that. I didn't know I was gonna say that. Mm -hmm. You know, but I just seen that setting. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I've been here before. Mm -hmm. And let me, you know, really. And since we got it looking so authentic right now, mm -hmm. let me let them niggas know. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga. that was that was that was big, and I'm glad that you did that, especially in that moment. Now, you know, DW Flame, true success, true success. Now, when you look back at everything 
everything that you've been through. I mean, you shooting commercials uh, or uh, ads with mm-hmm. uh, was that JBL? Yeah. You shooting the ads. You 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 acting mm-hmm. things of that nature. Man, how proud of you of yourself mm-hmm. that I came a long way. How, how how much do you ever reflect on everything that you've been through? Um. Well, know some. You don't ever reflect. <laughs> Not even no. that. I do. I definitely <laughs> reflect, but. I still feel like I ain't got. Yeah, okay. I still feel, I still feel like this is nothing. Mm -hmm. But I know I'm going. Mm -hmm. I know for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm, I'm in college right now. Mm -hmm. I'm about to go to the league. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go to the NFL right now. I feel that. And uh, sometimes I I reflect. I reflect like, yeah, you know, I'm doing... It's certain shit that's like shit, little shit still amazes me. Like, okay, yeah. like, okay. Yeah. I'm, I am me, mm. you know? Mm-hmm. I am the person I thought I was. Mm. You I know what I'm that. saying? I feel that. And you had to prove that to yourself. Yeah, and I, yeah, I've proven that to myself, and it, it's a good feeling. Mm. It's a good feeling, like, yeah, nigga, I knew. Yeah, <laughs> I knew this you was, know? I was gonna do this. I knew, yeah. now, now y'all know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The people, the people that I wanted to know definitely know. Mm. There's people that know now that I didn't know they were going to know, yeah. but it, I still have a lot to conquer. Uh, okay, 100%. Never get comfortable at the end of the day. Now, DW, what we got coming up next? When is the next project job, mm. uh, dropping? I mean, I've just seen you linked up with, with uh, Compton as TG, mm. linked up with OT, yeah. AV. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What we got coming next? What's coming for 2021? Okay, um, shit. Right now, me and Compton TG, um, mm. More than likely, we finna put together a EP. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm doing. I'm finna put out my deluxe album right now. Okay. To the fifth. Okay. Add some more songs on there, and then hit the streets, hit the industry hard with that. Okay. Um, I'm definitely finna take over 2021. Okay. Still dropping, still flame Fridays. Mm-hmm. All they gonna see. I got a movie coming out with uh, Jaquavis Coleman. Okay. He okay. a number one selling author and. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, in New York, so yeah, got a movie coming up. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm finna flood the internet. I'm finna break the internet this year. Okay, well shoot, you heard it here first. Just clap it up, LA. My boy DW Flame. Y'all tap in. We out.